lie down in Shavasana. I mean, what kind of class is this where you just get to lie down and rest for a little bit? What a perfect class. So come into Shavasana, close your eyes, and just check in with how you feel, okay? So we start all, I start a lot of the yoga classes like this, but this is something that you should do periodically, once in a while throughout your day. You check in, you say, how do I feel? <clears throat> do I need to take a rest? Do I need to do more things? Gus Lucarelli, put that away and lie down. So you feel through your body, notice how your energy is. You have a lot of energy. Do you have a little bit of energy? You have so much energy that you're rolling around on a rug. To be fair, I have a light in my eye, so well, then, I'm rolling. Shut that light off. Me. Shut the light off, Anton. I want to be too. Everybody dark. else, eyes closed, just for just for about a minute, okay? So just take a moment. Let yourself be completely still. And I know that's hard for kids. See if you can be completely still. You can really feel your body and bring your awareness to your feet. How do your feet feel? Move to your ankles and your knees. And your hips. To your belly and your chest your shoulders, your arms, your neck, and your head. Just feel your overall energy and how your body feels right now. And, and we'll do the same thing at the end and see if anything changes energetically, anything to do with how you feel um, physically. And then bring your awareness to your breath. So notice that you're breathing. And just notice the breath in the nose. Feel the air move in and out, just naturally at first. And now begin to deepen your breath. So imagine you're taking the breath from the nose to your belly button. So feel your belly button rise up on the in breath and fall on the out breath. Just resting with your eyes closed, taking five more deep breaths. Imagine that every in-breath is bringing maybe energy if that's what you need, releasing any tiredness. Maybe you need to bring with the in-breath calmness, peace. Five deep breaths. And after those five deep breaths, let your breath let your breath go back to its natural rate and rhythm. And then slowly begin to move and come up to a base position. So today we're going to do some of the same warm-ups we do. Um, we that we've done. I'm gonna. I have to run and get the book. I have this book and I'm gonna we're gonna do just I'm gonna open it up and we're gonna do whatever posture there is it's gonna be like a free-for-all we'll see what shows up it'll be a random pose of the day we'll do a few random poses and then we'll do some Sun salutation okay so let's just start with sitting up nice and tall we're gonna start with ankle crank we've been doing this one quite a bit so sitting up nice and tall out Bring one foot across, start cranking your ankle eight times in each direction. You can move your toes back, so you're really stretching your foot, the whole foot. Did I say seven or eight? 
do seven, seven times in each direction. Sitting up nice and tall. And once you finish the first side, bring your knee in, stretch your leg out. Go to the second side and I'll be right back with my book. From here, we're gonna do our knee rotations. We've done these before. You're gonna grab hold of your leg. So grab your thigh, sit up tall, and let your foot relax and take your bottom part of your leg in a circle. So just the knee is turning, not your foot, just the knee, seven times in each direction. So quite a few of you have been really starting to grow especially probably some of the boys, I think. And your knees are gonna start to hurt because that's a big, there's a big growth plate there. So go ahead and go the other way for seven. Um, and you might start to have achy knees out of nowhere. And it could be because of the fact that you're growing. My daughter, who's 15, she's been having achy knees. So once you finish seven in each direction, Go to the second side, bring your knee in. Feel the difference between the right knee and the left knee and then grab the, grab the other leg seven times. Sitting up tall so you're working on your posture. Bring your knee in. Okay. Now, we're going to move down onto the mat today. We're gonna to do something a little different. So we were working, we've been doing, um, I think we've done, I think we've done double leg lifts like this, but we're gonna use a warm up of just single legs. So you're gonna, you're gonna lie flat. You're gonna bring one leg up. You're gonna feel a big stretch here and then you're gonna bring it down. And we're gonna do a couple lying on our back. So come down, bring your, this is for your core now. These are, these are for the core and for digestion. So take a deep breath in and let your belly button dive down, lift up your right leg to your highest point where your knee is not bent. So for some of you, if you're doing this and your leg's shaking, then you need to straighten your leg and drop it down. And just hold it, flex your foot, hold your leg up, hold it up, hold it up, hold it up. Hold it, no, not with your arms, just with your energy and your own strength. Now bring your leg down and do that again. Inhale, lift that leg up, trying to use the core to lift your leg. Exhale, lower, five more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower, four more. Inhale, lift. Don't just fling your leg up, try to take the time of using the abdominal muscles. Keeping that leg straight, two more. And stop. Feel from the right side to the left side, not just in the hamstring, but in the hip too. Let's go to the second side. So hands, palms down, belly button dives down, inhale, lift up and hold. Hold that leg, flex your foot. Make sure your knee is straight and notice, is one leg more flexible than the other? Mine is, I can see my right side's more flexible than my left. Okay, get ready, on an exhalation, drop that leg down, let's do six more. Inhale, lift, pause at the top with the leg straight, exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, flex your foot. This is gonna really help your hamstrings. Exhale, lower, four more.
job. That's it. Pause at the top. I think we got one more. And down. Well, we did single, single. Now we got to do double. Okay, so take your hands and you can place them kind of underneath each, um, each butt cheek. Okay, so you can make like a triangle with your hands that'll support your low back. Okay, get ready. You're going to lift both legs seven times. So inhale, dive that belly down, lift both legs up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Pause. Exhale, lower. Good job. Five more. Using the strength in your low abdominals. Relaxing your shoulders. We have three more. And last one. Slowly lower. Good, stretch, take your hands out. Let's go ahead and bring your arms out into a T position. Just listen to my words. You might need to look a little bit, but if you listen, you'll be able to do it. Bend your right knee so your foot is flat next to your left leg, your left knee. Shift your weight to the right so you come up on your left hip and take your left hand on your right knee and do a twist. So pull that right knee across your left leg and look the opposite way. So it's a nice little twist for the back. And then inhale, bring that knee up, shift your body back over, straighten your leg. Other side, bend your left knee, place your left foot by your right knee. Shift your body to the left now, coming up on your right hip. Take your right hand and place it along your bent knee and pull that bent knee or bent leg across your straight leg and look down the opposite arm away from your knee. So you may feel a nice little twist. You might get a little crack in your back. And now come back up, inhale, shift your body over, exhale your leg straight. Now. This is another one we have not done. This is called hip rotations, okay? Or leg, ro this is leg rotations actually. So you're gonna lift your leg up, lift your right leg up, straight, only doing five in each direction. Now take your right leg to the right and make a big giant circle all the way across your other leg five times. So I, you've heard me talk about how hockey players have tight hips. Five circles, we're gonna do five circles in each direction. Just five on this one. Your leg is straight, you're making a nice big circle. And once you finish five one way, then go the other way. Flexing your foot. If you feel any pain in your back, then go ahead and just make a smaller circle. It'll, it won't be so difficult, but it'll be better for you if you're, if you're not in pain. That's not good. So once you finish five on the right side, bring your knee into your chest. Straighten your leg out. Feel the difference between your right hip and your left. And then let's do the other side. So take your left leg. Inhale your left leg up. Straight up. That's it. Now to the left. Gus, go ahead, bring your leg around five times in each direction. Trying to keep that leg straight. So again, it's kind of like the leg lift. You've got to try to keep it straight. And this is for your core, so it's not easy. Your leg feels awfully heavy, at least mine does, or it should feel heavy. And then go the other way for five. So this one's a good one because you're working on your hamstring flexibility as well as your core strength. Same thing with the leg straight leg lifts. Once you're finished, feel through both hips, the both sides of the abdomen. And guess what comes next? 
double leg rotations. This is gonna be hard. So it starts the same way as the double leg lift. So go ahead and place your hands underneath your butt cheeks. Lift your legs up. And now bring them to one side and make five circles. Oh. Relax your shoulders. Five big circles. If there's any pain in your low back, keep your circle more to the ceiling so that it'll be a little bit smaller. That's okay. Once you do five one way, go ahead and do five the other way. And when you're done, go ahead and bring those arm, those legs down, relax for a moment. Maybe bring your knees into your chest, release your low back. And we'll do one more twist. So take your hands, clasp your hands like this, place your feet down, place your hands beneath your head. So your elbows are out to the side. This is sleeping abdominal. I think we've done this one. So take a breath in and then drop your knees to the left. Look down your right, look toward your right elbow. Take a few breaths again, feel the twist. And then inhale, pick up those heavy knees back to the center, drop them to the right and look the other way. Good job. We're just gonna do three on each side. So inhale, come back up. Exhale, drop, look toward your elbow. Inhale, come back up. Exhale the other way. One more on each side. And knees in. Stretch those legs out. And now we're gonna do a couple things lying down. So it's a couple things that we usually do sitting. So this is one thing. So we started with the ankle rotations. Just know that you can always do those in your bed when you wake up in the morning. You can always do the toe bending, ankle bending. That kind of helps get the energy going. But we're going to do the wrist ones. This will be easy because we, have to re we can rest our arms against the ground and we won't have to hold our heavy arms up. So go ahead and put your arms so they're going up to the ceiling. Tuck your thumbs in and squeeze. Inhale, exhale, spread your fingertips. Inhale, squeeze, exhale, spread the fingertips. Five more times for a total of seven. One more. Then we go to, then we go to wrist bending. So now from here, Palms to the ceiling, palms to your body, seven like that. Keeping your wrists in good working order so you're ready for all that you need to do on the ice with your stick. Especially because I know a lot of you have been playing a lot of video games. This is really important. Three more. And then the last one, tuck your thumb in, rotate, eat, rotate them in the same direction for seven. Seven in each direction, going in the same direction at the same time with each wrist. And then rest your arms down. And one more that you can do lying down. And that's just taking your head. So we know how we turn our head side to side when we're sitting, we're gonna do this lying down. So take a breath in and then turn your head one way. As you exhale, inhale your head back up, turn it the other way. Feel a nice stretch, inhale, nose up to the ceiling. Exhale, turn your head. Inhale up, exhale, turn your head. Let's do just three more on each side for a total of five. Noticing, does it feel better to turn your head one way than the other? 
You might want to watch that. You might want to do a couple extra stretches for that side of your neck. All right, and then come on over onto your bellies. So we're just gonna do a, a couple stretch. This one we have not done yet. I don't think we've done it. It's called Cobra Pose. And I am then I'm gonna just pick some random ones out of here. Let's see what time is it? It's 5.09. Okay. It's 5.09 already. We started at 4.45, right? We have to 5.30. Okay. So we're gonna do Cobra. So this is Easy Cobra. So everybody come into Easy Cobra first. Take your elbows, put them underneath your shoulders. It's just like this, okay? Pretty simple. Gus, come on to your belly. All right. So you could just do this, watch. You could just go elbows out of the way and then push back up. So just try that, try that a couple times, taking your elbows out of the way and then use your low back and your hands a little bit. Big toes are together. Lily, put your elbows underneath your shoulders. Lily, yeah, keep them down for now. So you just kind of move them out of the way like a windshield wiper, okay? So that's one. So you have that as an option, okay? The other option is regular Cobra. And this one takes a little bit more strength in the triceps and a lot of flexibility in low back. So watch. Now I'm going to, don't do it yet, just watch. I'm going to take my hands and put them underneath my shoulders. My big toes are together. I'm going to try to use my back, kind of like a Superman. Then I'm gonna grab the ground, my elbows suck in, and my pubic bone stays down. So my, my belly button is just above my mat. I'm not all the way up here, I'm here, okay? So try that. Come on down, hands underneath your shoulders, big toes together. Lift yourself up using your back, push your feet down, grab the ground, elbows in, look up. And exhale, come back down. Nice. Come back down, exhale. Inhale, use your low back, elbows suck into the sides, and hold, look up. And then exhale down. Let's do five more. Inhale, come up. Exhale down. Um, Anton, you're coming up too far. Okay, so keep your belly button just a little bit above the ground. If your arms are straight, you're not doing it right. So bend the elbows. It's hard. Go ahead and do four more. Let me see four more. That's it. Keep those elbows. This is going to be really good strength builder. Keep going. Looking good. Let's see. That's it. Uh, Lily, keep your elbows pointing behind you. Keep them in tight to your body. Yeah, pointing behind you like that. Not like this, like a funky chicken, but like this. That's it. Now everybody come up, let's do one last one for three breaths. Relax your shoulders. Think about a cobra. A cobra is about to strike and his hood is up like this. You think about Harry Potter books? Think about the cobra. Okay, so take three deep breaths. Relax your shoulders, Matthew. Now exhale down, go ahead and press your hips back. This is tough. It's tough on your back and it's really tough on the triceps, I know. All right. So now I'm going to do some randoms. Because the reason we were doing that posture is because we're going to start working toward the full sun salutation in the next couple weeks. Okay, so that's one posture that we have to work on. All right. So let's see what I open up to. Oh, look what I opened up to. You think you can do that? <laughs> no. No, nor can I. Nope. However, however, we can do a very, very beginning version. Okay. Actually, that's called full cobra. That's true, true full cobra. So we won't do that. Let's do something else. Let's do, let's do. Actually, let me open up another page. I think I'm in the advanced asanas. There's no way we're going to do any of those. Okay, I think we did this one before. We're going to do it again. Easy bow I can, Easy I can bow see it. This one we've done. Okay. 
All right, so maybe it's not that easy, but I wanted to do another back extension, so I'm sorry I had to pick this one. So go ahead and come on your bellies. If you have pants on, maybe you have to grab your pant legs. If you can grab the tops of your feet, that's good. This is the starting position. So take a deep breath in and lift those thighs off the mat and come back down. Six more. Up. Gus, come on down. Lift up. Pause. Come back down. Four more. Lift up. Come back down. Keep going. And down. Two more. Lift up and hold. And down. Last one. Hold this one for three breaths. Maybe you can rock. I can't really too much. I don't have a lot of flexibility today. And rest. You can press back into child's pose. Come all the way back. Let's see what else we can do. All right, I got a good one. This is a seated posture. This is called cow face pose. This is what we're going to do. This one's a big one for our shoulders, okay? So sit up. It's also a back bend. So we're kind of still sticking with the back bends. See if you can cross your legs like I am. So instead of just being, I mean, you can do this. If this is all you can do, that's fine. But if you can, try to cross your knees one on top of the other. So whatever knee you put on top, that's it. That's it. <laughs> it's not easy, is it? Maybe you just put one knee up like this. That's okay too. That works. That works, Lily. There you go. We'll take it. Good job. Whatever knee's on top, take that arm up and bring it back behind you. Then take the other hand and see if you can grab your fingers. A lot of times I use a sock or something. Can you grab your fingers? It's hard, isn't it? Anybody getting their fingers? Lily, you got them? Let me see, Anton, you almost have it. You're so close. That's it, Josh. Good try. That's it, Matthew. Well, you got it? Where did Will go? Oh, there he is. Ah, good job. Okay, release and now switch out. So see, maybe the other foot. Try the other one on top. However you can do it. Whatever leg's on top, that arm goes up and back. Take the other one around. Now you'll see, this is my very, very bad side. I'm nowhere near close. So this is a big, big shoulder stretch. And then release your arm. I wanna try that one more time on each side. All right, so change your legs out again. So put whatever leg on, whatever legs on top, however you can put it on top. So again, it could just be like this, that's okay. However you get it there. Someday, I mean, at some point you try to get both the knees to stack up. So I have my one foot on, my one knee on top, that arm goes up and back, the other one goes around. Let's see, that's it. Whatever legs on top is the one that, that's the arm that's back. That's, that's going, the elbow going upward. I need to go. Who's gotta go, Killian? Yeah, it's an emergency, like a family. All right, see ya. See ya. All right, switch one more time. Uh, you'll definitely feel like a pretzel after today's class. So bring that other leg across, whatever leg's on top, that arm goes up and bends. So the, that elbow goes toward the ceiling. Then take the other arm and try and try and try and touch the hands.
and release. Whew. Okay, I'm gonna do one more rando. Now we're gonna work on our sun salutation. All right. Finger to, finger to toe stretch, okay? So this one looks like this. You lie on your side and you're gonna go a little bit up and hold, a little bit more up and hold, and then you're gonna try to grab your toe, okay? So lie on one side, lie with your arm underneath your ear. So rest your head, be in a complete perfect straight line. So if you look down, you only see the tops of your toes. This is also for the core. So inhale, take a little bit and make your body into a small X. Exhale, keep your arms up and leg up. Come up a little bit more. Exhale, come all the way up. Hey Gus, please, whatever you're doing, do this instead. And come all the way down. Let's do two more. Inhale a little bit. Exhale. Inhale, it's kind of you have to balance. If you flex your underneath foot, it helps. And now go to your highest point. Maybe you touch your knee or your ankle, or maybe you can catch your toes. Good job. And then come all the way down. One more like that. Core strong. Inhale a little bit. Exhale. Inhale a little bit more. You feel it right here. Exhale. Inhale to your highest point. Grab, grab, grab whatever you can grab. Hold it, take two deep breaths here. And lower your leg. And then turn yourself onto your other side. So however you need to do it, I wanna be able to see you, so I'm turning all the way around. Come to your other side. So palms together above your head, like you're clapping. Flex your feet especially your bottom one. Activate your core by pulling your belly in. Inhale a little bit, come up into a small X. Exhale. Inhale a little bit more, your X is bigger. You're feeling it in that side seat. Now come to your highest point. Maybe you can grab your toes. Feel that stretch in your hamstring and then come all the way down. Good job, players. Come all the way down, two more. Inhale a little bit. Exhale. Inhale a little bit more, exhale. Go to your highest point, reach, 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 reach. Feel that hamstring stretch and come all the way down. One more, inhale a little bit, exhale. Inhale a little bit more, exhale. Inhale all the way up. Good job and come all the way down. And come on to your belly, resting for a second. All right. So we're gonna start working on some of the pieces, parts to the full sun salutation. So we've been working on the modified version for the last few weeks and even in the spring. And that's where we do the cat and the cow and the downward dog, but when we do the full version, it's going to be this posture called eight point. It's going to be cobra, which we just did. And then we're going to move back to downward, uh, downward facing dog. But most people don't have the strength for that. So we're going to work a little bit on getting the strength. Okay. So we've been working on the modified push-ups in our other class. So it's going to be kind of like that. So watch what I'm going to do. So I'm coming into table, I'm coming into downward dog. I come onto my toes, I go knees come down, my chest is gonna come down and my chin is gonna come down. Then I'm gonna push myself up like a push up and then I'm gonna come back into downward facing dog. It's gonna feel like a real push up, okay? So get ready, hands underneath your shoulders. Roll your toes under. Inhale your hips up and exhale, press them back into downward dog. Good job, players, good job. Walk your heels out a little bit. Stretch out the back of your legs. Okay, now listen. 
Come on to your toes. Drop your knees back into table. Take your chin and aim for right in front of your fingertips. Elbows are tight. This is eight point pose. You feel really goofy. Now you're gonna grab the ground and push up. Back to table, back to downward dog. Okay, let's try that again. There's eight points on the ground. Two feet, two hands, a chest, a chin, and two knees. So get ready. On your knees, knees, that's two points. Chest and chin, that's four points. The hands and the feet are the other four points. Now grab the ground and push back up again and go back. Good job. Let's try that three more times. Up onto the toes, knees. My chin goes right in front of my fingertips. My elbows are tight into the side. My chest is down. My bottom's in the air. Push straight up. Pull your belly button in, push back. That's it. Two more times. Ready on your toes, knees. Chest and chin come down. You're feeling it in your arms. You're gonna grab the ground and push up to table, back to downward facing dog. Last one, let me see it. Let me see what you got. Do it yourself, knees. Put your knees down. Good, and push back up. Good work. That's it, now press back, relax your arms. So that's, what we're gonna work on that for the next, probably next week and the following week. And then the last two weeks, we'll work on the full version of sun salutation. Okay. Now we're gonna do the modified version. So we're gonna do that for three rounds, maybe two rounds, two rounds, because we don't have much time. And then we'll lie in Shavasana and then you're done. So everybody come on up through downward facing dog, bend your knees, jump up, stand up. All right, so you can hear me. Come to the very front of your mat. Face the sun if you can. Figure out where the sun is right now and face the sun. It'll even be a more beneficial effort if you actually face the sun. So I'm facing the sun. All right, bring your feet underneath you and come into that standing, it's a standing, like a standing Shavasana. Close your eyes for just a moment. Feel the floor beneath you. Really press into all four corners of your feet. So if you lift your toes up, you might go, whoa. So you gotta really press down, make sure your quads are really strong. So press into the floor. Now relax your toes. Roll your shoulders down, lift your chest. You've got perfect posture. Bring your hands to your heart in prayer position. So we're gonna do two full rounds of the modified version. Take a breath in and out. Inhale up, reach to the ceiling, lean back, feel that stretch in the front and the back of your body, come up. Hands on your hips, exhale forward, feel your hamstring. Bend your knees. Inhale the right leg back into equestrian or runner's lunge. Exhale the left leg back into downward facing dog. Come on to your toes, come into table. Inhale cow, exhale cat. Press back into downward facing dog. Pick up your left leg, look at your hands, shift your weight forward and get that left leg all the way in between your hands. Exhale right to left. Hands on your hips, inhale, stretch, reach the arms up, lean back, come up, exhale to prayer. Second side of the first round, inhale up, lean back, come up, exhale forward, bend your knees, inhale the left leg back, exhale the right leg back, let your head hang, come onto your toes, drop into table, inhale cow, Arch your back, exhale cat, round your back. Continue to exhale, flatten your back. Now the left leg went back first, it stays back. So pick up that right leg, look at your hand, shift your weight forward and bring that right leg all the way through. Exhale, left to right, hands on your hips, sweep the arms up, 
lean back, come up, and exhale into prayer. We're gonna go a little bit faster for the second round, so get ready. Take a breath in and out. Inhale up, exhale forward, bend your knees. Inhale right leg back, exhale left leg back, come onto your toes, come into table. Inhale cow, exhale cat, press back into downward dog, pick up your left leg, look at your hand, bring the left leg through, exhale right to left, hands on your hips, press through your feet, reach the arms up, lean back, come up, exhale into prayer, second, second side of the second round, inhale up, lean back, come up, exhale forward, bend your knees, inhale the left leg back, equestrian, exhale the right leg back, let your head hang. Onto your toes, come into table. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Press backward, back to downward dog. Pick up your right foot, look at your hand, shift your weight forward. Get that right leg through. Exhale, left to right. Hands on your hips. Sweep the arms up, lean back, come up. Exhale into prayer. Bring your arms down. Come into Shavasana. So come all the way down. We're gonna end just with a few mindful breaths. So lie down in Shavasana, palms facing the ceiling, head to the center, feet flopped out, eyes closed. Palms are facing the ceiling. Just letting yourself rest. For a moment, just notice how you feel after just finishing those two rounds of sun salutation. You might notice you might be breathing heavy. Just notice the effects of that. And the really cool thing about sun salutation, and I've said this is why I, it's so important. I feel like it's important that hockey players do this because you stretch your whole body front and back. And it's really important, you know, to keep all of the flexibility um, in your back and in your front of your body. So it's a really good thing. And you can do it really quickly before practice, before a game, after a game. So that's why we're going to continue to work on this. But as you're lying there now, notice if you feel any different from when you started 45 minutes ago. Noting any changes. Any energetic changes, maybe you have more energy, maybe you feel calmer. Maybe your mind feels clearer. So a lot of times when we do exercise, when we practice yoga, we have less, you know, less thoughts coming into our brain and we can be quieter. And then when we have a quieter mind, then we can be more creative. We can be calmer and we can come up with some really good ideas and we can solve problems. So that's one of the benefits of exercise and yoga is to have that quieting of your mind. So note any changes in how you feel um, with your, how you feel mentally. And then bring your awareness to your breath. And we're gonna take five deep breaths in and out. So five deep breaths, fill your whole body, fill the whole body, expand on the inhalation and contract as you let go of that breath. So imagine you're breathing out, in and out, each and every cell of your whole body. So your whole body is expanding, getting bigger on the inhalation, contracting and getting smaller on the exhalation. So three more deep breaths like that. And after that fifth deep breath, let your breath return to its natural rate and rhythm. So notice the difference. There's a difference when you just breathe naturally, which happens about 22,000 times a day, by the way, and how you breathe when you actually put your brain on it. So bring the awareness now from your breath to your body and from your body to your floor, the floor beneath you. And then slowly begin to move your body Move your hands, move your feet, and come up to 
a seated position. All right. Thank you very much for being here this evening.